Here on the left axis now is the percent of children with stunting from chronic malnutrition going from zero to 70 percent. And on the bottom axis is gross national income per person ranging from $100 up to $40,000. Back in 1990, South Asia and many of those sub-Saharan African countries had relatively high stunting and low gross national income per capita. This big red bubble here is China with about a third of children stunted in 1990 and a GNI per capita of $780. As we play this forward, we see the stunning starting to come down and per capita GNI going up as countries move over there to the right. And then stopping here in 2005, we have a snapshot view of the world that helps us see some very interesting relationships between malnutrition and economic growth. China in 2005 has only about 12% of children under five with stunting and a gross national income per person of about $4,000. And right beside China is Brazil with a gross national income per person of more than $8,000 and only 8% 8 of children stunted. Now let's compare these two to another economic powerhouse that has shown a sustained and robust economic growth for more than a decade, which is India, this big blue bubble here. India now has a gross national income of about $2,300 per person, but India has a high rate of malnutrition, with almost half of all children under five stunted. What this tells us is that while poverty is a significant factor in child malnutrition, economic growth does not necessarily lead to reduction in malnutrition. It's other factors that are coming into play.